First step here is gonna be to pull back your fender liner using a rivet pry tool. So we'll have to remove two rivets, one up here and one towards the bottom. Which will allow us to pull back the fender liner, which reveals the fog light. So pulling back the fender liner, you can see the fog light is located right here under the front bumper. We're gonna have to disconnect this wire and then to remove the bulb, it's just two pressure tabs on either side. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Came right out. Oh, maybe stubborn. A little. So as you can see, our new bulb from Wind Power is much more substantial than the stock halogen bulb. It has a cooling fan and a separate hour ballast uh, to power the unit. Something we noticed just installing the first bulb here, whenever you switch on and off the power to the unit, it actually alters the color of the bulb between yellow, like a European style fog light, and a bright white. So I'd like to thank Wind Power quickly for sending us these LED fog lights to install on the Jeep. Wind Power has products for numerous brands of vehicles, including multiple model headlights, as well as a wide selection of bulbs. So thank you very much to Wind Power for hooking us up with these bulbs. So when comparing the two bulbs here, you can see that there is a bit of a difference in the gap between these two tabs and the location of the bottom tab is not in the right place. So while they are here purposely by the manufacturer, they aren't crucial or necessary to proper mounting of the bulb. We're gonna be trimming off the tabs to give it a better fit in the car. This isn't necessary for all models, but for this particular Jeep, it is necessary. So you will wanna keep your old bulbs for reference when doing this trimming. Make things as easy as possible, it's advisable to screw in your power adapter to the bulb before installing the bulb in the car. There's a little keyed notch that you're gonna have to match up on the power adapter here. And then you'll screw on the collar to make a watertight fit. So just for neatness of our wires, we're gonna mount this with the wire coming up. So once you get your new bulb into place, push it into place until you hear the tabs lock into place. So now grab your fog light connector, which is gonna be the red connector that we disconnected. Take the other end of your power adapter. Once you have that connected, go ahead and flip on your fogs to verify that the bulb is working. As with any electrical install on any vehicle, it's a good idea to neaten up the wiring using some zip ties. Once you've got all the wiring squared away, you can reinstall the fender liner. You're probably gonna wanna install two new rivets here. They don't work very well if they're reused. All right, we've got the two new rivets installed. Now we'll check out what the new fog lights look like. 